important enough to deal with such a delicate matter, right? I carry out the wishes of my employer, nothing more. This means simple paperwork, most of the time. You've been thrown into deep water, sweetheart. Tell me, can you even swim? Believe me, this is just as unpleasant for me as it is for you, if not even more. Tell me, which part of the city do you live in? Calavera Hills? Flowerville, maybe? Look, I... I don't want to answer that. I'm here on behalf of my employer, and not on personal business. Fair point, Deborah. Let's try a different approach. Why did you have to visit me this particular evening? I have my reasons. I may look like a silly little fawn, and maybe I am, but I still have common sense. I don't doubt that for a second, Miss Ibanez. This day is essential to my mistress, and she thought it's also important to you. A message in itself, for sure. But to be honest, even you are. You know what? I'll just take that as a compliment. Even if it wasn't meant as such. Why did you come to visit me? Why not your employer herself? My employer is Miss Natasha Katsenko. She hasn't been leaving her home lately. Only if she really has to. How so? Miss Natasha is afraid. She's scared because of those unwanted messages. And everyone knows who she is. So she's that kind of woman. I don't know what you mean. Of course you do, Deborah. Thank you, by the way. We're finally getting somewhere. We avoided the point long enough. Deborah's hiding something, no question. Let's focus on that. What exactly did you expect by coming here to meet me? I expected your help, just like my mistress said. Oh, that's very nice. But have you seen this neighborhood? Have you seen this wreck called a hotel? Who were you hoping to find in a place like this? Someone reliable. Well, I am reliable. And discreet. That's right. And thorough and has a heart of gold. Okay, let's stop it right there. Are you in some sort of jam? Nothing of the sort. There are simply things better left unsaid. Then you're wasting my time. I trust your instincts. You'll manage it. Yeah, and I have no other choice, right? To be honest, no, Mr. Featherland. Not really. Don't you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? Look, Santino. I'll explain everything. I have no doubt about that. You look just the type, sweetheart. No offense. I'll take that as a compliment. Or maybe I'll act like I haven't heard it. You see, we're starting to understand each other. Tell me, Deborah, why should I believe you at all? Because my mistress trusts you. Should that be enough? 
If you really like what she thinks you are, then yes. Damn, what can I say to that? Look, I didn't mean to back you up against the wall. You have a way with words, sweetheart. Did you ever want to be a cop? No, not for the world. <laughs> Smart answer. Be honest and tell me what you're so afraid of. You know, Mr. Featherland, my mistress's partner is Hobart Wessler. Or as most people know him, exactly. Feathery gods, help me. So you get it now. The secrecy. To put it mildly, I think I understand it all. Wessler. This little piece of the puzzle changes everything. Behind that door lies the kingdom of dirty clothes, cigarette butts, and empty bottles. I wanted to travel the world when I was a kid. But I think I'm gonna end up dead in here, whether I like it or not. Why don't you take it to the police? Just go there and file a report. Photos, flashing lights, fingerprints, you know the drill. The evidence is very clear. Even a moderately talented detective could easily wrap this case up. Or just try the phone. Triple five, triple one. Please, take a look at this. Well, okay, let's see. I know Molly very well. Please note this when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Treat her as gentleman. And I felt like I'd been hit on the back of my head with a blackjack. Reality tilted. Molly. Good gods. What was her name doing there? I glanced at the opposite wall, with the well-worn picture frames. Like an eternally dark hole in the wall. A missing piece. She was wearing a light silk dress and singing a lullaby. The waves caressing her beautiful long legs. Why Molly? Why now? Mr. Featherland? Santino, are you all right? What the hell is this supposed to mean? I don't know anything, Mr. Santino. My mistress told me to give this to you. She said you'd understand. Don't you? Oh, of course I understand, Miss Ibanez. I get it very well. But this case is becoming more and more confusing. It's starting to look like blackmail. Blackmail? Don't play innocent with me. But... All right. When can I visit? Visit? Me? Not you, Miss Katsenko. Oh, yes. 
You can find her at the Czar Club.